In this lecture, we are going to briefly discuss the control of vasomotor center by higher nerve centers. Basically, we have discussed that vasomotor center is responsible for controlling the tone of the blood vessels. It can cause constriction of the blood vessels. It can cause dilation of the blood vessels. As well as vasomotor center plays its role in increasing and decreasing the heart rate and pumping of the heart. So basically, the vasomotor center is uh, re related with the sympathetic and parasympathetic uh, nervous system that controls the circulation. And the sympathetic as well as the parasympathetic signals, they control the heart rate and the blood vessel go from the vasomotor center. Vasomotor center is basically present, present at the level of medulla and pons. It is present at the level of medulla and pons. This is the vasomotor center in the brain, suppose for example. But this vasomotor center is also influenced by higher nervous centers. Higher nervous center. Vasomotor center controls the tone of the blood vessels. And these nervous centers, the higher centers control the tone of the vasomotor center. Vasomotor center controls the tone of the blood vessels and the heart rate. It has an effect on the blood vessels and heart rate and higher nervous centers basically has an effect on the vasomotor centers. So we are just going to briefly name the, the centers of the, high, uh, the nervous system or higher nervous centers which basically has an effect on the vasomotor center. So the first and most important uh, part of the brain that has an effect on the vasomotor center is the reticular substance. Now the reticular substance in the brain is not properly defined area but it has uh, nuclei from different regions like the pons, the mesencephalon and the diencephalon. The mesencephalon is the midbrain, the diencephalon is the forebrain. So neurons that are part of the reticular substance and that neurons that are present in the pons, at the level of the pons, at the level of the mesencephalon, at the level of the diencephalon. They all they all contribute they all has some effect on the vasomotor center so all basically all these uh, parts parts of the brain that we are going to discuss they have they influence the activity of the vasomotor center and then this vasomotor center is influencing the tone of the blood vessels and it is helping in increasing decreasing the mean arterial pressure it is helping in increasing decreasing the heart rate so Pons, mesencephalon and diencephalon, the parts, the nuclei they, that are the nuclei of the reticular substance that are present in pons, mesencephalon and diencephalon, they are influencing the vasomotor centers. Now, some parts of the reticular substance, like the superior parts of the reticular, sub, reticular substance, they basically increase the tone of the vasomotor sub, substance, uh, they increase the tone of the vasomotor center. And uh, Di uh, the lower down areas of the uh, reticular substance basically decrease the tone of the vasomotor center or decrease the activity of the vasomotor center. Now similarly the hypothalamus, some parts of the hypothalamus which is also present an important part of the brain. Hypothalamus is also controlling, uh, sometimes it is uh, it excites the vasomotor center, it increases the activity of the vasomotor center or and sometimes it uh, decreases the activity of the vasomotor center. Then some parts of the cerebral cortex, some parts of the cerebral, the, the upper portion is basically the cerebral cortex. Here we have the pons and here we have the medulla. Then uh, we also have the, this is just one section through uh, the brain and we are just uh, trying to make a simple picture of the different parts of the brain which are controlling the vasomotor center. You know very well that the human brain is not an easy structure. It is a very complicated structure. All these parts are linked together and they send signals uh, back and forth to each other. But here we have just simplified the whole diagram for the understanding purpose. So hypothalamus sometimes excites some parts of the hypothalamus, excites the vasomotor center, some parts of the uh, hypothalamus uh, uh, like inhibit the vasomotor centers. Some parts of the vaso, uh, cerebral cortex also have influence on the vasomotor centers. Sometimes like the motor cortex may uh, excite the vasomotor center or may inhibit the vasomotor centers. Then 
some uh, tem- temporal lobe uh, frontal cortex cingulate gyrus amygdala and hippocampus these are different parts of the human brain which all of them have some some influence on the vasomotor center when we say that the pons the mesencephalon diencephalon hypothalamus hippocampus uh, cingulate gyrus amygdala hippocampus when we say that they have an influence on the vasomotor center it clearly means that all these areas are basically involved in regulation of the circulation and basically all of them are part part of the brain and brain and spinal cord are an important part of the nervous system so it shows the involvement of the nervous system it is basically our uh, the our major topic that that what is the role what is the importance of the nervous system in the regulation of the circulation so these uh, these things show the involvement of all these parts the pons the mesencephalon the diencephalon the hypothalamus the temporal lobe the frontal cortex the amygdala the hippocampus the involvement of these areas in controlling the vasomotor center shows that all of these parts of the brain are involved in regulation of the circulation so that's all about the control of vasomotor center by uh, higher nervous centers of the brain this is just a superficial explanation we are not going to go deep inside otherwise these are very very lengthy topics uh, uh, we can go into the detail of each and every part and it will become a very very lengthy topic so we are going to discuss these things in detail in the nervous system thanks a lot for watching the video